Hello YouTubers, and today I am going to be reviewing the 12th Doctor set for 2018 from B&M. So here is an Xbox, if you'd like to know more about these boxes, then um, just uh, watch my review on either the 4th Doctor, uh, sorry no, the 70th set, or the 3rd Doctor and TARDIS set. You can see here it says what the set includes, window and that, yada yada yada, let's take a look at the figures shall we? Okay, so try as I might, I can't get Missy to stand up, unfortunately. So, there we go, that's a flaw with that figure. Right there and then. So, let, I'm going to take a look at the most interesting figure, which is obviously the Bill figure. And this is technically the first uh, Bill figure to be released since, uh, apparently, the Amazon exclusive one. Some, apparently, there's a rumour that some of them have actually been shipped to people, or... I have yet to have conclusive evidence on it, but it's nice to see a variant in a B&M set where it's much easier to get. So anyway, let's take, take a look at that face sculpt. It does actually really look like Pillmucky. I think they've done uh, a pretty decent job of it. I don't know about the eye The eyebrows may be a tiniest bit too high up on the head. But other than that, it looks really nice. You can also see you've got a little orange uh, bow. There, which, uh, to be honest, I can't tell if it's a separate piece or they've just painted part of the hair. The hair itself looks excellent. Just look at all that detail in the hair. You can see the little different strands. It's been given a nice sort of wash in it as well to bring out some of the little strands and that of the hair. It looks really, really good. Taking a look at the body, uh, some people have said that it's a primeval figure. I have no idea whether this is true or not. Though it could be for the reason that she doesn't have uh, ball-jointed arms. Which is obviously something that all modern character options figures do have. You can see here her torso and that she's wearing a striped top and that. And uh, some of the stripes you can see here haven't quite made it straight across and that. It looks a bit bummy. To be honest, the back looks better than the front. Uh, the front looks a little bit messy, uh, to be honest. But regardless, it looks uh, pretty decent. The arms and that, no risk articulation, unfortunately, on this figure. And she's just wearing some, you know, standard jeans. However, her legs seem to be a bit bent. They seem to be, be a bit bend, bent inwards. And one leg does appear to be slightly longer than the other, at least in my case. I don't know why. Is it because this uh, trainer isn't on properly? No, it's on properly. But yeah, um, you can see the only specially sculpted part, because I do sort of recognise these legs and torso bits. But uh, you can see here, the trainers and that uh, do look, you know, specially made for this figure. And that, they do look pretty good. You can see, obviously, uh, the laces and that done up. So, and they have given them a sort of dirty wash around them to make them look a bit more worn. So, that's nice. The uh, problem I do have is, look at, look at Bill compared to Capaldi. Just look at that. <laughs> she looks far too short. I mean, you know, Pearl Mackey is slightly sh a bit shorter than Capaldi, but this is bloody ridiculous, this. This is, you know, I mean, look at Missy. Missy up to Capaldi looks all right, because um, Michelle Gomez is considerably shorter than Capaldi, but Bill, I don't know, this just looks far too short for me. I don't know about you, but it just looks a bit too short, and that's probably... Why uh, I do believe that this is just reusing parts from previous figures. I mean, it is a nice figure, but the scaling is completely off. But then again, the Capaldi figure, the scaling is completely off on him as well. He is far too tall. Taking a look at the Capaldi figure, he looks really odd. To be honest, the paint apps on this one are probably the oddest I've ever seen. I mean, it's using the Series 9 head, which... I think it's sort of like the sort of best of both worlds. It does make him look older. But uh, it's something about it, the way he just looks and stares, it just looks really odd. Also, the hair, which was one of the best things of the previous ones, this time uh, the sculpt seems very soft. And I think that's because of the paint being so thick. And that's a problem that <clears throat> pretty much all 12 Doctors, part of the Time of the Doctor one, seem to have where the paint is just on, slapped on far too thick, which covers up all the wrinkles. You can see some of them sort of like in his brown and his cheekbones a bit, but still, uh, that is unfortunate. Obviously, this is a very a new variant, 
that we've got where he's wearing his um, red velvet uh, jacket, the regs, uh, Crombie Cokes, which is velvet. Unfortunately, it does seem to me, it seems a bit too light. It should be a bit darker than this. This does seem a bit too bright. It reminds, it should be um, closer to, I would say, sort of like the deepness of, say, the fourth Doctor from Pyramids of Mars, uh, where where it was a lot darker. But unfortunately, you know, this does seem a bit too bright. He is just wearing uh, the shirt, which uh, I believe he does wear this with just the shirt at some point. I can't remember when. But, you know, they were never going to sculpt the waistcoat in there. And uh, But I am glad that he doesn't have the fucking hoodie. You see the buttons that present there. And the legs are just the standard 12th Doctor legs that we've had before. So basically, it's just a standard 12th Doctor fit. But it is a variant. It is a worthy variant for me. Uh, because I, this is my favourite 12th Doctor costume. So it is nice to finally have it in figure form in the 5-inch range. And finally, we get on to Missy. Now, this is an interesting one because um, either this is a nice new variant for you or this is a next to no variant. It just depends because Forbidden Planet International got the exclusive Series 9 version of Missy where it was uh, in her brighter purple costume that you see before you, which I do have, which uh, still had the brooch in that. This one... The only difference between that one and the Series uh, 9 one is basically this new bit here. Which uh, is kind of trying to be the cravat. Unfortunately, since the sculpt is the same, it, it doesn't really look like a cravat. It, it looks just more like a shirt. So that's unfortunate. It is still nice. You know, a nice enough figure. Uh, to be honest, I would have rather they had... Um, the solemn head with the hacks, but obviously she doesn't really wear the hack during series nine. And also, um, her hair should be slightly different during, uh, sorry, during series ten, I mean. But obviously, uh, the hair shouldn't be like this for series ten. It should be a bit different. And also, I'm regarding whether the colours are right in that. I mean, it makes a nice series ten set. Don't get me wrong, but and I can understand why they put the Missy in here. You know, to sort of finish off the set. So, I guess. To be honest, uh, this set is a little bit of a mystery to me. I mean, to be honest, when I saw it, obviously, the Bill figure is worth it on its own. Because, basically, this set is the se is pretty much the same price you would pay, or just about, to get the, you know, the newly released Bill figure on its own. If you were to go the Amazon exclusive route, whether that has actually been released or not, I don't know. But, you know, is it really worth it and that in the end? Well, to be honest, I actually like this set more than I thought I was. To be honest, I thought the 70s set was probably going to be my favourite out of the three packs. However, to be honest, I think it might be this one at the end of the day because there are less inaccuracies and the set as a whole makes sense because all these figures and that are from the same era and actually technically also from the same series as well because, uh, you know, you could see... That's a series 10 figure. That is a series 10 figure. And that's a series 10 figure. So, overall, actually, I really do like this set. And I do highly recommend that you get it. But anyway, uh, that's it um, for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.